Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Matz. Welcome to today's Living Word. We're wrapping up our premarital primer that we find in Malachi chapter 2, 11 through 16 today. As we've been saying, this is a must-read section of scripture for those considering marriage. And today, we're going to look at one of the reasons that God hates divorce. Let's pick it up in Malachi 2, 15 and 16. But did he, God, not make them one, having a remnant of the Spirit? And why one? He seeks godly offspring. Therefore, take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously with the wife of his youth. For the Lord God of Israel says that he hates divorce, for it covers one's garment with violence, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore, take heed to your spirit that you do not deal treacherously. That's Malachi 2, 15 and 16. And note the repetition of this phrase, take heed to your spirit that you do not deal treacherously with your wife. It's mentioned twice for emphasis. Treachery is defined as a violation of allegiance or faith. And a double mention here should tell us how important this is in the eyes of God. Now, you may not understand it. You may not even believe it. But the spirit that made you and your spouse one knows it. Therefore, take heed to your spirit, because God hates divorce. And why does he hate it? Well, it says here, because it does violence to the seamless garment of marriage, the garment that he put together when you exchanged vows, when the two became a literal one. And divorce does violence to that garment, ripping it into two damaged pieces. And it ignores the command from Jesus found in Matthew 19, 6. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man tear apart, let not man separate. Now, as much as God hates divorce, it still happens. And when it does, there's always pain involved. The pain is the same as experienced by the death of a spouse. So keep that in mind before you tie the knot. Get a picture of this seamless garment before your eyes and then fight for your marriage. One more vital thing that we need to talk about here. Divorce is not some unforgivable sin. There's no sin that Jesus didn't pay for on the cross. But these things in Malachi are truths that couples should be aware of as well before they take that step into marriage. It'll go a long way in keeping that marriage together. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.